I was in charge of the camera team, I don't think I slept <laughs> much the night before. I was really anxious to get that first image back. When that image came back, we just started pointing at all the features that had never been seen before and saying, look at this, look at that. Over time, the close-up flights of Mercury's North Pole allowed the team to peer deep into the shadows of one particular crater. We realized that we could actually design a way to take a picture using a very long exposure to see inside these dark craters. Messenger was designed with instruments that could specifically look at the reflectance and also measure hydrogen. So we saw, okay, there's a lot of hydrogen there. Um, and there was like this fantastic case built for these ice deposits. Incredibly, Messenger detected hundreds of billions of tons of frozen water ice scattered in the permanent shadows of the polar craters. The fact that water ice can survive for a very long period of time is a reflection of the fact that, the, that Mercury is rotating almost perfectly straight up so that there are craters near the pole that are uh, so deep and completely shaded from sunlight ever hitting them. So ice could be stable in those polar regions that are permanently shadowed for billions of years. Messenger had confirmed the existence of an essential ingredient for life. On the surface of the closest planet to the sun. For me, when that great backlit picture came out, that's when it hit for me. Oh my God, we've done something really unique and wonderful. And it was like, this is gonna be, this is gonna be huge. Over Cassini's 13 years at Saturn, it explored the planet's incredible storms, the formation of its rings, and discovered the oceans of Enceladus. But Cassini's greatest insights may be yet to come. There's such a wealth of information in the data. I think we've just skimmed the top of the data. I think people will continue to make discoveries from Cassini data for another 30 to 40 years. The data Cassini collected in its final moments is already changing our understanding of the planet. It has revealed the rings are disappearing. As much as 10,000 kilograms of material is falling into the planet each second. It now seems likely that just 100 million years from now, Saturn's great rings will be no more. Cassini has shown us that we have been uniquely fortunate to behold this great beauty. T minus 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, Such is Jupiter's four, mystique. Three, it's been a recurring two, target one. for space exploration. And lift off from Atlas V with Jupiter, a trek to Jupiter. In 2011, NASA launched its latest mission, Juno. When we launched the Juno spacecraft away from the Earth, out towards Jupiter, we didn't have enough speed to get away out of the gravity of the Sun. So we actually had to come back to Earth, get a gravity assist from Earth, and then go out to Jupiter. After traveling for five years, Juno finally arrived. This is a mission that goes closer to the planet in its orbit than any other mission ever has. Only a few thousand kilometers from the cloud tops and very, very fast. We go from pole to pole in two hours, slipping between the radiation belts and the cloud tops, getting the data as fast as we can and getting out. 
So in every way, Juno is breaking new ground and that's allowed us to see things that we couldn't have ever imagined.